Supreme Court decisions remain relevant long after they are decided, often setting legal precedent for years and even decades. The landmark decision of Griswold versus Connecticut is a perfect example. Vice President Joe Biden referenced the case in a speech at a political fundraiser I attended earlier this year in New Jersey. He was responding to comments by Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum suggesting that the case was decided incorrectly. In Griswold, the Supreme Court affirmed the right of married couples to use contraception. The court later extended that right to unmarried couples in Eisenstadt versus Baird. Together, the cases ultimately paved the way for the Supreme Court's decision regarding abortion in Roe versus Wade. While it may seem unbelievable to us now, the use of contraception was banned in the state of Connecticut in 1965. The Connecticut law stated that any person who uses any drug, medicinal article, or instrument for the purpose of preventing conception shall be fined not less than $50 or imprisoned not less than 60 days, nor more than one year, or both. The law further criminalized the disbursement of birth control, stating, quote, any person who assists, abets, counsels, causes, hires, or commands another to commit any offense may be prosecuted and punished as if he were the principal offender." Unquote. The case arose when Estelle Griswold, the executive director of Planned Parenthood League of Connecticut, and Dr. Lee Buxton, doctor and professor at Yale Medical School, were arrested and found guilty of violating Connecticut law. They challenged the constitutionality of the law before the Supreme Court of Errors of Connecticut and later the United States Supreme Court. In a 7-2 decision authored by Justice William Douglas, the court struck down the ban on birth control as it applied to married couples. In doing so, it recognized a fundamental right to privacy that had not been previously recognized by the Supreme Court. In justifying the fundamental right to privacy, Justice Douglas argued that the Bill of Rights' specific guarantees have penumbras created by emanations from these guarantees that help give them life and opinion, he said. He subsequently highlighted several amendments, including the First Amendment, guarantee of free speech, the Fourth Amendment, protections against unreasonable searches and seizures, and the Fifth Amendment, right against self-incrimination that supports a general right to privacy. The Supreme Court further held that pursuant to the 14th Amendment, the states could not infringe that right without proper justification. Prior to the current political season, the right to contraception was widely considered to be well settled. While it is improbable that the Griswold decision will be overturned, the Vice President's speech in the beginning of the year and the discussion of this case in the Republican primary for president show that constitutional interpretation on issues that we often take for granted can always be revisited by people with different opinions. My name is Donald Skarinci and I'm the managing partner here at Skarinci Hollenbeck. Thank you for watching.